All right, I saw the saddest little thing on the Roblox games page. So it's up and coming, which, uh, you know, promotes new games like Break In 2. And then you have this at the very top. Just, bye. Zero players. Hi. Such an emo little game. Um, I was very confused on this. This is what I do on Instagram when I want attention. Um, I black out my profile and tell people that I'm gonna hurt myself. I don't mean that. That was a bad joke. But I thought that's what this was. Um, I didn't- I don't mean what I said, by the way. Don't do that. I thought this person was just seeking attention, so I, I looked into it a little bit more because it, it was funny seeing this. Um, <laughs> And then you see, this is one of those skibbity toilet games. I can't play this because uh, this guy's kind of been on a rampage of copyright. And uh, he's been taking down Roblox games that feature his characters. And take like actually trying to delete people's YouTube channels. He's been on kind of like a psychopathic rampage. If I play his video, you know the little song that does skibbity? Uh, da da da, la ba da ba do. It charges you a hundred bucks to upload your video. I I tried to upload a video about Skibbity Toilet like a couple months ago and um, I had to pay hundred bucks before I could upload the video. That's besides the point. His song played for 10 yeah. seconds. I had to give him a hundred, whatever, it's fine. Look, you have people saying uh, they were crying because Skibbity Toilet Tower Defense or whatever this was got taken down. This guy who made Toilet Tower Defense, he got his game taken down and then Skibbity Toilet guy started copyright striking his YouTube channel trying to get it permanently deleted. That's pretty... All right, well, I can't... I can't watch his video on it anymore. Yeah, this guy's game got taken down too and has 500 million visits. You should have... It would have been cooler if he made his all emo like uh, like this guy did, but that, that's okay. A missed opportunity. So I guess his YouTube channel is just making update videos on his own game, and uh, he tried to copyright strike his thing and get his channel deleted, which is it's pretty insane. It's taking a little bit too far. You know, I get that some, he probably just doesn't want people profiting off his thing, but uh, you can't go out of your way to try to delete someone's YouTube channel over it because of their game that they made. You're already getting 1.5 billion views a month <laughs> and 4 million subscribers a month like uh, calm down that kind of stuff happens to me too i don't go insane over it like this game this is using one of my characters and it has 1.4 billion plays that's probably like millions of dollars this person has made off you know my character i'm not gonna try to ruin his life over it you kind of have to just take those on the chin someone who works on that game posted uh dms they had with this guy so i'm gonna assume they're real but there's a chance that this and that they might not be. I tried to reach out to Telanthric about his game, but he doesn't answer, unfortunately. So I copyright strike to all of his videos and try to get it th him deleted off the platform. I'd love if we could come to an agreement with him. Me and Tempris, we sat down and we watched every episode of Skibbity Toilet that this guy made, and I liked it, but now he's a corporate demon. Creecraft, um... <laughs> Every time there's a new episode out, he will re-react to every single episode ever made. Is he gonna delete Creecraft next? 31 million views in one day? It's not enough! Dude, just make your own Roblox game. You know, technically he's in his legal right to do that, but it's it's kind of weird. You know those like creepy animation channels? Any popular character that comes out, they'll just make a bunch of weird things about it. Like uh, Rainbow Friends, but they're anime. They'll make Rainbow Friends hot anime babes for some reason. <laughs> you know, I'm not one to really stick up for uh, spam garbage channels like this. No offense. I mean that in a good way, but uh, he tried to get this channel completely taken down uh, because they made skibbity toilet animations. He struck down, copyright struck one of their videos, not claim, but struck, which is like very damaging to your channel. He copyright struck one video, said he wouldn't do any more than that. And then he started copyright striking more the next morning and um could have potentially gotten this whole channel taken down never meet your heroes they might be a corporate monster i like that he has please contact me if i didn't put you in the credits but <laughs> has all on all of his videos if you're the author of certain assets and video and i didn't credit you properly please contact me but then he'll go ahead and copyright strike people's videos like possibly end their careers over uh 
honestly nothing. Like, you're doing fine. There comes a certain point where you just have to accept that people are gonna use your stuff and profit off of it. You don't gotta be like a jackass about it. If game tunes got deleted, you know, nothing of value was lost. But there's still people who rely on this for income at, uh, at the end of the day. I was trying to find what the videos uh, they made about Skibbity Toilet were. I found this guy's reaction on it. Kind Kevin. It's just like dumb trash you'd expect. Uh, it's, it's definitely not made for people like me. I mean, they're not even using stolen assets. They're just animating like this is like a fan How edit. Turns out flushing me just sent me from toilet to toilet. Oh, it's just no. like no stupid fan theory me. animations. Oh, no. How do you make a whole reaction video to this for 13 minutes anytime i've tried to make a reaction video i want to um i want to hit my head really hard with a hammer if this is the the game he took down i don't even think this uses at least that many copyrighted assets yeah i mean if five nights at freddy's allows fan games to get like 100 million visits without copyright claiming them i think you're doing fine i think you are doing just fine I think this does more harm than good. You don't need to uh, sift through quarters in between the, the cushions of your couch anymore. Dude, just wait till he finds out that there are just <laughs> a zillion uh, skibbity toilet accessories that you can get on the Roblox catalog. Like actually so many. He's going to have a panic attack if he goes to the Roblox catalog. They are actually, there's a lot more than I thought. Uh, wow. Don't tell them to type, type Skibby. They're all hidden under here. Cause if you type Skibbity, there's a lot less. This is the black market for Skibbity toilet related items. You know, he does have a right to get upset about like these. People will compile his episodes and actually get zillions and zillions of views. I'm sure he probably copyright claims all those and, uh, you know, doxes their address and uh, swats that men hurts them. But that's just part of the game. I think Roblox is gonna go a direction of uh, a lot of like copyright claiming, a lot of DMCA-ing, just taking things down because uh, Preston from Pet Simulator, he started copyright claiming games that had pube pets. A YouTuber asked uh, a pet simulator employee what constitutes something to be copyright struck down by them. They says, <laughs> Clearly, you are educated on DMCA's and IP. Here you go. So he pointed out differences between two different pets that had box designs, and then he just said that he just sent him the same tweet. So passive aggressive for just a genuine question. Look, I don't know all the details on this situation, so maybe I'm spreading misinformation, which I'm fine doing. I love. I love spreading misinformation. Breaking news, Big Games Preston has filed a DMCA against Tokyo, Japan for stealing the theme of the Kawaii update, which is from Pet Simulator X. Oh my God. He's right. He's actually so right. They need to tear this city down. They stole that from Pet Simulator. Hey, wait, this person also has a really good point. They need to take this fruit down. <laughs> the, the Roblox logo. You know, Preston's done this before against uh, badass experiences. Uh, who I met these guys at RDC. They're, they're really cool. So I think this is going to become a growing trend. You know how like if you have a YouTube video that has uh, like two seconds of a Taylor Swift song, your whole video gets taken down. I think that's the route uh, Roblox is going to go. Because right now you can kind of just do whatever you want. Like you don't even have to hide it anymore. Naruto face. Naruto face. Girl Naruto face. Nothing matters right now, and things are really, really fun, but uh, I think this is gonna go uh, down a dark, devilish path. And I think Skibbity Toilet and Preston, I think they're gonna trailblaze this movement. I think it's it's gonna suck. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty bold for Skibbity Toilet Guy to do all this. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of his assets, or at least maybe uh, early on, were from Gmod. And now he's going on this rampage. Uh, I hope this video was clear, because I'm kind of an idiot, and I don't know anything. So, um, maybe this will make sense, maybe it won't.